What's going on guys? Another prop firm review for you today. There's a lot of options now and you're probably thinking like, God, like which one do I pick that's gonna help me improve as a trader? Or I got a unique one for you that's a little different than the other prop firms out there. Usually you pick an account like 50,000 or 100,000 and you're pinned to that level for the lifetime of the account. But this one, you start out with a smaller account size and then as you progress, you build your way up and you get more and more money to work with. Kind of like how you would if you were trading your own account. It's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. All right, let's take a look in at Earn to Trade. I just want to add they're not a sponsor of this video. I'm just an affiliate. So if you're interested in joining, you can use that link in the description. So first off, they have an 80-20 split. Pretty simple. They have two different accounts. And we're going to look at the Trader Career Path, which is that progression one we talked about. So this is where you progress up and you get to do a live account. Live accounts are a huge green flag for prop firms. It's different when it's only sim because they're not paying profits out from the live environment. When you take trades in the live environment, the prop firm isn't paying from their accounts. You're just taking money out of the live market and there's an 80-20 split, which is natural and how it should be. They have a video here you can click and they go into more detail. It's a five minute video. They explain it in detail. But essentially is you start with like a $25,000 account which is on SIM, and then you can go to a live account or a SIM account. As you hit the profit targets, you move up to these different metrics, and you can notice too is that once you get into the live accounts, you no longer need to maintain consistency. Consistency is a prop firm rule for SIM accounts to make sure that you're not trading 15 lots on a news release, a CPI or FOMC, and making $10,000 in two seconds that you're not gonna do in the live environment. Now, if you're gonna do it in a live environment, great. It's an 80-20 split. You can make 10,000 in 10 seconds trading 50 lots on a CPI because you know something that no one else in the world does. Cool, you make 50,000, you make 10,000 in 10 seconds, you get to keep 8,000 of it. Everyone wins because you're in a live account. So consistency drops off once you get into the live account. And as you progress up and you hit the profit targets, you move up to bigger and bigger accounts, right? Most prop firms, you just have a 50K account and that's it. And you can't go above that. Your drawdown stays at 2,000. Your daily loss stays at 1,100. With this one, you start out at a drawdown of 1,500. And then as you move to the 50K, well, now you have 2,000. So you can now at this point, you can start trading with more than one lot or more, more micros and then you go to the 100K account, now you're trailing John out of 3,500. Now you can start trading with two or three lots. So instead of trading one lot on a 50K account and still having 2,000 of drawdown and then having to move up to three, four, five lots and more leverage, but you still only have 2,000 of drawdown, that's a recipe for a bad situation. Like in a real trading, you would grow your account, you would build more money into it, and then you would increase your size you hit these profit targets with your 2,000 drawdown and your daily loss, you get a bigger account, and then now you have 3,500 and 2,200, now you can up your size on your lots. And that is how you would do it in a regular account. Like when, I'm build when I was building my options account, I was trading one, two, three contracts, and then as I got more money into the account, then I started trading with four, five, eight, nine, now 10, 20, and so on. That's how you do it in a real in a real trading account. You don't just you're not just pinned to this two thousand for the life of the account. At some point, it's going to hit. But if you're growing up this ladder and you get more space, now you're more like a trader. Now you got more room to work with, and then you get to this two hundred k. Now you got forty four hundred, and the drawdown's fixed to one ninety four. So if you get all the way up to this two hundred thousand, for example, let's say your account is at two hundred and ten thousand and let's say you lose $3,000 three days in a row. You haven't blown the account yet because your account would be at 201,000 and you'd still have $7,000 of space. So you just have to keep it above 4,000. So if you do get the account up 20, 30K, and you do build it up, you have a tons of space now because you just have to worry about that daily loss. And I believe in the video they talk about payouts are like once a week, so they pay out, they can pay out weekly after you trade your 15 days, a minimum $100, and then after 500, they say they, they, there's no uh, transaction fees. So you can get your money uh, weekly, which is a good thing. If you're a bit more of a ballsy trader, they have bigger accounts. So you start with a 50K and you can go all the way up to a 400K account. 
Now this one is pretty interesting because when you get up here, you have $20,000 of drawdown space and then an 8,800 limit. This is where you can start trading with five, six, seven lots, maybe even 10 if you're like, you know what you're doing. This is where you can start trading with more leverage and more lots and, and five, six, seven lots. And you have all that space that you can work with so you can keep yourself in the game. And if you do get into a bad trade, you just, you have space to let, to let it run. You can start taking bigger trades. You don't have to like freak out because you only have you know nine points of space because you're trading with six lots. So that's pretty nice. So this is a progression ladder for the bigger account and you can work your way up and build your capital and increase your drawdown. And this one I like a lot. I would probably do the TCP 50. This is one I think I have. I'll show you the dashboard in a second. I have the 50K account. So you take your profit and you upgrade each time. So you start at the 50. The first one is 3,000. So once you hit your 3,000, then you would move to the the live account and then you'd hit 3,000 again and then you would move to the 100,000 and hit those profit targets and then scale your way up. And they did say once you're into a live account, there is no subscription fee. You're not paying monthly at all. I believe it's just the 80-20 split. So you take live profits out of the market and they take their 20%. So again, another green flag for this prop firm. It's pretty good. And you just 15 days minimum, approved times. Notice the approved times had nothing to do with news. It's just you can't swing your position overnight. It's day trading, so you have to make sure that they're closed by the future close time. And uh, you have your end of day drawdown and then maintain consistency. And that's just for the gauntlet and the career path before you're in a live account and it's 30%. And then for those of you that like the old way of doing things, the gauntlet mini is what they call it. This is simply the, the standard, you choose your account size, 50K, 100K, 150, that's your account size for the life of the account and then once you get funded trade leaves 15 days maintain consistency and then you get a funded trading account and then you have 50k in a live environment and again live environment is a huge huge green flag so that's a good thing once you get into the live environment there's no consistency rule and you just have to and there's no unrealized end of day these are end of day drawdowns another again huge green flag i talked about my last video about the unrealized end of day and how much of a scam it is and can be, and uh, the fact that these are end of day drawdown is a huge plus for the prop firm because that's what you want because there's no such thing as an unrealized drawdown in your trading account. If you're in a regular personal trading account, if, if, if you put $2,000 into an account and it goes up 500 and comes back down and you close out break even, you're just, your account's at 2,000. Your broker is not going to penalize you because you didn't take your profit. That's just, it doesn't make any sense to me. But a lot of green flags on this prop firm with that regard. To be honest, I really try to give unbiased reviews, but just looking at this, I can't really find anything that negative about it. I do have a, this is the dashboard, so you can see I got a 50K account. I have yet to start because uh, I've been a trade of eight junkie, but. If you've been noticing, there's a lot of issues with Trade of 8. Now that Ninja Trader bought them, you have to pay for VWAP. That's like stupid to me. So kind of looking for other brokers too. I got to get uh, Ninja Trader. This is uh, Ninja Trader. I got to get it to work on my Mac and get parallels going. But I do have the 50K account. and But they have this cool dashboard with lessons. And speaking of lessons, if you do want help trading these prop firms, learning how to trade the futures market or the stock market, we have our full-time trader course. We have our free one hour master class. You can go to the website in the description below. Click this, it'll take you to the webinar. It's an hour of jam packed information, real information, teaching strategies, and, and at the very best, if you just watch the webinar, you're gonna gain some useful knowledge from it that you can take into your trading. So you can check that out. You can use this to help you pass these combines. We go over everything about trading, mindset, tips and tricks, volatility, options, futures, hours and hours and hours of jam packed material. So you definitely wanna get involved in that personal mentorship. I post my trades in the Discord. A lot of good guys in there trading and you have direct access to me and other traders. We have questions, DMs. We do live workshops. So definitely at a disadvantage if you're not in full-time trader, if, if you're tackling these prop firms. Energy Trade has some cool webinars and much information here and, and calendars. So so a cool dashboard and established company. So that's Earn to Trade. Let me know what you think about this prop firm. I'm gonna try it out. You guys can try it out too. Link will be in the description below if you're interested. Go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions or concerns. And I will be making a comparison video of the top prop firms. I wanna kinda pit them against each other in a 
in a battle winner take all of the current best prop firm. I'm trying to I'm gonna figure out metrics and I'm gonna see which prop firm is the best prop firm comparing all their rules, comparing all their parameters and their rules and their payout structure. And we're gonna see which prop firm is the best. So keep an eye out for that video. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.